here, uh, well, here we are again, mate. Here we are again at Ebor Lab this time. Another part of Yorkshire. It's remarkable. Uh, Yorkshire is very definitely, clearly a hot spot on the Lard map this year because last time we spoke, we were in the beautiful uh, city, the Las Vegas of the North, uh, Sheffield. No, we weren't. We were in Nottingham. Oh, Nottingham. Oh, right. Well, that's not in Yorkshire, is it? <laughs> right. Well, it's summer up north. <laughs> <laughs> if you're from the south, you know what I mean. It's up there somewhere. So anyway, this time we're in the proper, the heart of the north. We're in uh, we're in North Yorkshire, not just Yorkshire, not just the north, but the north bit of the north, mate. And uh, we're here at Ebolard, which is uh, an annual event. Uh, it's it's uh, reached that status where it happens every year, so we call it an annual event. And uh, it's uh, run by John Savage, who no doubt you'll be speaking to as uh, kind of main man here. And John has been running Ebolard. For numerous years now, of course, COVID got in the way, but we've uh, we've been playing games today. I don't know how many people are here today. Your, your guess is as good as mine, but it must be something like 40. A whole range of games on offer. We had Chain of Command, we had Sharp Practice, we had uh, Kriegspiel, we had Ducks Britannia, and we had Kiss Me Hardy. We had games that people have got under development, some fantasy stuff with sort of pixie type characters running about and everything that looked great and a giant monster sort of big creature smashing them up and whatever so all sorts of lardy games on offer and the whole premise is uh, that it's not competitive people come along come along to uh, meet old friends or, or make new friends and the whole thing is really based around the premise of giving people an opportunity to maybe try games that they've not played before giving people an opportunity to um, play games with people who, who they haven't played games against before. We had a guy who came here today from Leicester, had his first opportunity to come to a Lardy Games Day, had his first opportunity to play Chain of Command, and he um, played in the Pacific War Chain of Command game that I was running this morning, and he played the US Marines and did a fabulous job, got them off the beach, destroyed the Japanese, which has to be said, it was a far better performance than you achieved this afternoon, really. And I was surprised, because let me ask you a question. You, you're kind of the expert gamer with your own TV channel, but you didn't do that well as the Japanese, did you? Or the Americans, did you? No. No, no. Should we not dwell on that point, then? No, let's not dwell on that. OK, let's move on swiftly. Right, yeah, so the very idea is that people come along, we have a great day of gaming. We had, we had a game in the morning, we had a game in the afternoon. We're going to go and have a few pints now something to eat in the local pub few of us quite a few of us are staying over we'll all head back tomorrow but it's just a really good social environment with people who love their history and love their gaming uh, great chance for people to come together So, um, Green Hamilton uh, in uh, rural North Yorkshire for the third Ebor Lard. So, uh, had a thoroughly good third Ebor Lard, yes. So, uh, one before COVID, then a bit of a gap, one last year, and this is the third one we've done, and biggest one we've done so far, actually. It's been really good. How big is it? Uh, we've had seven, eight games, I think. So, everything from Infamy, Ancient Romans, through Dark Ages, a couple of Chain of Command games, and a Kriegspiel, which was a bit different. So, uh, <laughs> hopefully that went down well. Uh, the, be the best way people are interested is, is contact me, because um, I've, I've, I've got a master list uh, of people's emails. So, you know, when I'm looking to do it next year, hopefully there will be another one next year, yeah. then what I tend to do is I'll email everybody who's been before to say, this is the date, come back to me, let me know. The, the issue I've got is that we're probably about as big as we're going to get. Um, I think we had 42 people here today, uh, seven, eight games, but that's probably, we've, we've pretty much filled the hall. Uh, and, and that's a nice number. Um, so I know there's a few people who didn't come this year would like to come. So, But yeah, if people have heard about it, then by all means, get in touch with me, drop me an email, Twitter contact, di direct mail or whatever. 
send me your email address, I'll put you on the master list and you'll be on the invite list when uh, when we come to do it next year again. I, I, th- I think I think the highlight, from, apart from everybody, just everybody getting on, playing games, really enjoying themselves. I think for me, when we set up last night, I managed to get all the games set up last night and look around the hall and thought, we've got seven or eight games here, none of which that would have looked out of place at a show. The quality of the games and the, the visual impact of the games has been brilliant. Add on to that that you've had people just playing games, having fun, laughing, perfect combination.